Overnight, tensions boiling over as pro-Palestinian protests spread to more college campuses from coast to coast. You have been warned by New York University to leave the area. Police in riot gear dismantling this encampment at New York University, arresting multiple people accused of ignoring a deadline to disperse. Police and the school describing disorderly, disruptive, and antagonizing behavior that has interfered with the safety and security of our community. Earlier, faculty members formed this human chain around the protesters. I am a professor here. I have every right to be everywhere on campus. At nearby Columbia University, where protests are entering a sixth day, a pro-Israeli assistant professor said he was not allowed to enter campus where protesters have gathered, but was allowed access to his business school down the street. So they are willing to use Jewish brains, but they don't want to let Jewish people in. But I'm not allowed to go on campus where they are allowing the Hamas supporters. And that is a shame. The professor later posting, earlier today, Columbia University refused to let me onto campus. Why? Because they cannot protect my safety as a Jewish professor. This is 1938. After more than 100 arrests last week, a new encampment is growing at Columbia escalating concerns about security. Student groups, like those at other colleges and universities, are demanding Columbia divest from companies that do business with Israel. But critics highlight anti-Semitic hate speech among the demonstrators. New York's mayor pointing to this image, showing a woman with a sign in front of pro-Israel protesters reading Al-Qassam's Next Targets, a reference to Hamas's military wing. There were people outside of campus one time with signs that said death to all Jews. That is awful and nobody should be having to experience that on their campus. A big name donor, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, now pulling support for the university. Kraft saying, I am no longer confident that Columbia can protect its students and staff. Overnight, Columbia announcing classes for the rest of the semester will be hybrid a combination of in-person and remote due to the security concerns. Yesterday at Yale, dozens of arrests for protests there and across the country in California, the campus of Cal Poly Humboldt is closed as pro-Palestinian protesters overnight barricaded themselves inside a building. Republican lawmakers are demanding Columbia's president resign over her handling of the protest, and as soon as tomorrow, she could face a censure vote from the university Senate. 